Gay activists work to help miners during the strike in 1984 and they end up heading to a small Welsh mining town as they're the only community that are willing to accept their money. Pride is touching, wonderful and inspiring. It's just excellent. The social commentary in this film is just emotional and just a whirlwind. <laughs> it's just, I can't even bring myself to speak about it. There's a moment in this film where the lead character even says, how can we expect to be supported if we don't support other groups? And I just think it's a wonderful thing. Absolutely incredible. It's like, as soon as he said that, I was like, you've hit the nail on the head. This is what that film's about. And it's what life should be about. You know, how can one group get ahead if someone else doesn't support them and this is what that film's about. The leader of Gays and Lesbians Support the Minors comes to that conclusion that they are mistreated just like homosexuals are back in 1984. It's a sad time when you think about it and I think this film really shows how devastating that thought is but in this nice warm, fuzzy kind of feeling way. So that common link was mainly the treatment of all other societies and mainly police treatment. They realised, hang on a minute, we're not actually getting treated badly by police at the minute because they're not there. Where the hell are they? They're dealing with the miners' strike. So this is when the light bulb goes off and the leader is like, we need to support the miners. They are having the same issues that we have had. So this is where the wonderful moment sets in. You've got these miners that are fighting for what they believe in. And then you have this homosexual group that are just willing to help them. And this is how it brings the two groups together. The two unlikely groups that you'd think would form together and something special happens. What makes this film so special? I'd have to say it's the top-notch acting. You know, you've got George McKay, who is a little bit of a rising star, he's slowly making his way up there in, uh, in films, and he was just, oh, he was delightful. He is basically playing the closet gay in this film, and he just, like I said, it's delightful to watch his transformation of being so nervous and scared about coming out and and then it's about these group of friends that he meets that are like no like stand up for yourself be proud and it's yeah it's just wonderful apologies if i get this name wrong i've not done my homework but ben schnetzner is just great he really takes on the whole leadership role perfectly and he is just so young looking and he just can lead. <laughs> so he was just really appealing. And going back to Rising Star, I have to say the dude from Emmerdale is having a fabulous career. He was fantastic in this. It's just he's got this ability to just make you watch him. Like he could be in the corner of a room and you look at him. So really interested with his career because he's just he's doing fantastic. So, who else? Uh, Dominic West. He, I love and adore Dominic West. I have done since I was like a teenager. Uh, I've always had a little bit of a crush on him. <laughs> so to watch him in this film being so flamboyant uh, it was just superb to watch. He really did it justice and I think he, he did it quite fairly. So uh, yeah, great stuff to him. And then you had Andrew Scott playing his boyfriend and I think Andrew Scott is the person that really stood out for me in this film. Andrew Scott has this wonderful ability to just not do anything, but you can see what he's thinking. Like, it's all in the eyes and just the facial expressions. You can just put a close-up shot on him and it says it, a thousand words, face a thousand words. It, it's just beautiful and to have that acting ability I think is very rare and he just has it, he's so natural and he's what makes the film so emotional in my opinion. Every time he was on screen I was just like, oh my god, it's too much. <laughs> Paddy Constantine has a really wonderful moment in the film where he does a speech thanking 
the homosexual community for giving him this money to give to the Welsh mining community. So he's like the spokesman of the group and he does this wonderful speech that just makes you well up. And I think he just played the character just so lovingly and just it's just a touching moment of he is in charge of bringing the two groups together and he does it perfectly and he does a cracking Welsh accent. This film does have quite a cast, I'm still going through the list here. <laughs> Bill Nye is just wonderful, he can do no wrong in my eyes, everything I watch him in I can't complain. He uh, just yeah, is just wonderful in this film and you you can't help but just go, oh, I love it. I'll finish on Imelda Staunton. She was delightful and hilarious and she was basically part of the council with the Welsh mining town and or village. It's not a town, clearly isn't a town, it's very tiny. <laughs> but she really just takes it. She really does, it looks like she was enjoying this role and it like meant something and I, the whole cast felt that way though. It really was wonderful to see actors so into what they're doing. It's not just a paycheck. It really did feel like everyone was doing this because it meant something to them and that's another touching moment for me. Yes, this is a political film but it is so much more than that. You explore basically the physical and emotional abuse that homosexuals got in the 1980s and it's a story of friendship and support uh, it's about groups coming together and if you don't cry <laughs> you'll have you have no heart I can tend to be quite heartless but I was sobbing at this film floods of tears by the end of it I thought I was going to have to be carried out in a stretcher because I was just like oh my god <laughs> And even saying that, I was emotional for about 24 hours afterwards just thinking about this film. So yeah, I'll, I'll finish how I started. Touching, wonderful and inspiring.